I just finished delivering my 16 foot uh, Sunset Surf, which is a dual lane 16 foot slide. And it was the third time that I delivered it this weekend. And, and the thing that kind of struck me is, is that I used to do that a lot. I used to deliver units two and three times a weekend, you know, quite a bit. It was, it was, you know, more frequent than, than not turning units, getting the money out of them, um, making sure that I'm, you know, doing that to, to generate the revenue. But now I'm, I'm much bigger and in a situation where I'm not doing that as much. And it kind of highlighted the, the, the stark difference between larger and smaller uh, rental companies and how you generate your money. When you're smaller, and when I say smaller, you know, 10 units, 12 units or less, something like that, you want to turn those units as many times as you can. You want to, to continue to cycle them through and do them one, two, three times a weekend, making sure that you do that. As you grow and you get into to be a, a larger uh, inflatable company, you, um, you spread out, you become more diverse with your equipment, you... You do things that uh, make it easier for scheduling. Um, those kind of things are not really conducive for delivery and pickup simply because you're spending your day delivering and then you're spending your day picking up uh, and there's not a whole lot of time to do both at the same time, especially if you throw in some parks or some, some churches or something like that where you have to you have to pick it up the same day. So... I guess uh, the 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 whole moral of this, the whole point of this whole discussion is, is that knowing where you're at and knowing the equipment that you have, don't fight it. Don't go against the grain, and you'll know when you get to the point to where you're you're not doing that. You'll know when you have enough units to where you're you're doing the deliveries and doing the pickups on separate and you're not turning units. Um, and that's important because um, as a small inflatable company, you want to maximize your potential when you can. You, you're paying a lot of, of money for insurance so uh, and you have a, just a few units. So what you have to do is turn that into to multiple rentals. You want to make sure that as a small company, you're doing 10 rentals a weekend. That should be your goals. 10 rentals a weekend. Now, when you get to 15 or 20 rentals a weekend and you have, you know, multiple crews and, and things like that, then it's going to start, you know, looking like you need to move into a direction where you're, um, morphing into that other uh, business model, which is uh, 
not turning the units multiple times on a weekend, just doing the, the, the one rental and moving on to the next rental and diversifying your customer base because you have a larger uh, you know, equipment inventory. So, um, don't fight it. Don't go against the grain. Don't be in a situation where you're trying to be something that you're not because what you're going to do is going to create a situation where you're, you're not. If you have 10 units and you're not putting out multiple units or doing multiple rentals on each unit per weekend, you're hurting yourself because if you have 10 units and five of them are water slides and it's the middle of summer you're not getting your 10 rentals. You're, you're only getting five rentals or, or three rentals or something like that, and you're hurting yourself. Uh, inversely, if you are a, a big guy and you're trying to turn units, you're trying to do multiple rentals on each one, what you're doing is limiting your manpower and limiting your, your scope and your range of your, your deliveries and, and you don't have the time to get the stuff out that you need to get out. So it's going to create a labor problem. It's going to create a, you know, a situation where you're not doing the rentals and thus cash flow. And again, we're in this for money. So do it the right way and create the situation where you're making the money. You're doing what's important so that you are able to do the money. There is nothing wrong with having 10 or 12 units doing 10 or 12 rentals a weekend and and you know some of those are, are multiple rentals on the same unit because you'll have the time and the effort and, and the ability to do that and there's nothing wrong with having 40 units and getting you know 25 or 30 of them out uh, on a weekend and not turning a single one only doing single day rentals only doing you know my system is, is, is booked in such a way that you, you can't stack the units. But when it books a unit, it, it, it rents it for the next day. And that's just to give me some breathing room because I'm literally traveling and I'm doing, I, might, I have a large delivery area. Um, I cover most of the middle of the state um, and it's probably a 50 mile radius. So, I mean, I, I do a lot of driving and a lot of deliveries in between, so, and I run four or five crews, so there's not a lot of room for um, me to, to double back and try to pick something up or create a situation where one guy's delivering and the other guy's trying to pick it up, and it's a scheduling nightmare and everything's... Because what will happen is, is that the the trail the trail will break and you will you'll stop something will will pop up and it will delay you and then everything behind that will be late or everything behind that will be messed up and you'll have to adjust and and make a, an arrangement and it's just not worth it so keep that in mind 
you know, keep doing what, what's making you money. And if that's turning units, then turn them. Make as much money as you want on, on those units as you can. And again, you want to shoot for 20 rentals a year on, on each rental. You want to shoot for 10 rentals every weekend per, you know, delivery crew so that you're able to, to make the money that you need to make. Uh, less and you're, you, you're not working to cover all your expenses because remember, you're literally paying $300, $400 a month for insurance You've got to make that up. You bought these units that cost you ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars. You got to make that up. Gas, in you know, vehicles, employees, everything is going to cost you money. So you have to get to the point where you're making money without cutting corners. And uh, yeah, turning units is is probably the best way to do it when you're small, and then when you're big, focusing on diversifying and getting as many units out there as you can. Thanks, guys. Keep watching. Uh, like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.